Jason Indes here with you. Just got finished filming hey, a good, strong video about bladed jigs. Bladed jigs are something I was kind of late to the party on. I, I, I hadn't really focused a lot of time on it, but as I have, I've developed a couple of strategies with them that are real key to catching them on a bladed jig. I've gone to using a relatively short rod, and that's just for me. I'm using a six foot, 10 inch rod. I have a tendency to want to get that bladed jig fishing it a little bit fast, and that gets it way high in the water column. I find that when I keep it just below the surface a little further, where I can't really see the flash of the blade, that's when I get more bite. So that shorter rod really helps me keep that bait down in the water column. The bladed jigs that I like, I, I'm, I'm really fond of this tungsten Thunder Cricket. It's got a different vibration to it. The regular Thunder Cricket made out of lead has a very high pitched vibration to it, very up high. And I like that in warmer water. But as water's cool in the fall and warm back up in the spring, I want that lower sound and that tungsten version does that for me. Trailers, I use multiple different trailers. This is one of my favorites. It's a minnow style trailer. It's a, it's a blade minnow. This one just happens to be in a Tackle Warehouse exclusive, uh, Bama Bug. Bama Bug is a color I use all over the country in soft plastics and it just catches them. This mimics that bluegill really, really well. Line, relatively heavy line. 15 to 20 pound line most of the time. Fluorocarbon in Vizx is my choice. I want it around cover, above cover, so I'm using heavy line to get those fish and move them away from it. Gear ratios on reels, I like slower than normal. A 7.5 to a 6.8, that's what I normally run. And if it's in cooler water, I'll even drop down to a cranking style reel with a 5.4 to 1 gear ratio so that I can have it in and around that cover longer. The shorter rod also helps me with pinpoint casting in and around lay downs, trees, rocks, stumps, where I can really lay that bait in there. If I have the room and I have the availability, I'll always pitch that bladed jig in there and let it fall just like I would a flipping jig or whatever. You'll get you some bites like that as that bladed jig falls next to the cover. So the shorter rod helps me put that bait in exact position. I'm using more and more medium heavy rods that are of a moderate action because I find that when they have that parabolic bend in them, I lose less fish. And once I have control of the fish's head, I can direct the fish to, to the boat where I need him to get in there with me so I can put him in the live with. Watch this video on bladed jigs and see how I do it here on Tackle Warehouse.